Ladies and gentlemen, the CS2 beta update is here and we have a ton of changes to go over today. I'm going to be focusing today on things that you guys might have missed from the update as things such as the new Inferno update has already been covered extensively so I wanted to look into more specific things. Now remember, this is still the beta so things are absolutely subject to change with future updates. We have a lot to get through so let's just dive straight into the new Inferno. Visually, this map is one of the best that current CS2 has to offer and genuinely looks incredible. Tons of lighting, sound, and visual changes came to Inferno, and the map still feels familiar, yet the quality of the map is unlike anything we have seen before. Now with the map, I wanted to highlight actual gameplay changes, specifically being physical geometry changes. Starting off, we have changes to Graveyard on a site of Inferno. Now, there is no little hiding spot in a wall that covers you, so the staircase is just entirely open and you can see anybody that's trying to hide in that little graveyard area. The opening in pit is significantly lower, so sitting in it and peeking that angle makes you way more visible to someone pushing in on site than in previous Inferno. Top mid has some design changes, with a couple more indents in the walls to have more angles to peek from and changes to how some of the angles sit in relation to one another. The little hiding spot in church now looks very different and is a lot more pronounced, making it less of a sneaky little spot to hide than previously. On two unrelated notes, the mad lads at Valve put a banana on banana. Also, coffin isn't really a coffin anymore, but there is graffiti on the wall in the same spot that has a skeleton and coffin drawing on it, referencing the old call out. Nice little easter eggs you can always appreciate. Now for the most part, aside from resizing, like in the CT to Arches area, the map is still proportioned the same as Old Inferno that we are used to. Now onto some knife changes. We are all familiar with the lighting and visual changes knives have received in CS2. However, in this update, we can see that the Falchion Fade has actually received a buff, with the handle now having the same fade pattern as the blade. Some patterns do look a little weird right now, but I think this is a great change that brings the falchion fade in line with all the other falchion finishes, having the blade finish on the handle as well. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see if this has a demand increase for the falchion fade specifically. Moving on, I wanted to take a look at the black pearl finish that we have on Dopplers. These knives look beautiful in CS2, however I did want to highlight that they are exclusively purple. This will most definitely get changed in the near future, however for right now, all black pearls are exclusively purple with no pink, green, light blue, and yellow visible like we see in CSGO. On the gun side skin of things, we have a lot to cover. The op now received a default scope and barrel color of grey instead of black and that translates to a few specific skins. The two main ones I wanted to highlight are the Medusa and Fade. The Medusa now has a grey scope and barrel and in my opinion has received a major nerf since the black on the scope and barrel looked way better with the Medusa drawing than the current grey does. This change actually surprised me a ton because changing these colors had a massive impact on the entire skin itself. I'm curious if these changes will be liked more than what we had previously. Now, the op fade received the same change and honestly I think it is currently suffering from the same issue that the black on the fade finish looked way better than this gray one that we have in game. You can see this on the op lightning strike as well. Moving on, a ton of skins from different price ranges got color and aesthetic changes and that had a massive improvement on some skins more so than others. Take a look at this Battlestar M4 that looks great and is a night and day difference from the previous one. Skins like the Icarus Fell and Midnight Lily both look much more sharper with their lines and drawings making the whole skin look much cleaner as a result. The Prince Dream skins, mainly the M4A1S, has a different type of pearlescent effect now, with the entire skin having a single color shift across the entirety of the gun when inspected at different angles. Now, I do think that the actual main pearlescent effect that we see in CSGO while in different types of lighting is going to be tweaked in the upcoming updates to CS2, but for right now, they still look pretty damn good. The case harden looks different now, mainly being the texture on the skin. It doesn't look nearly as metallic now and has this bumpy paint-like texture that is very visible on the mag with correct lighting. I'm torn on these changes, comment down below if y'all like the new look of the case hardened AKs or not. Lastly, gun skins that had an engraved look now look incredible in CS2. Check out this AK cartel that looks way better than it ever did in CSGO. The texture and carved look also got upgraded and skins such as the Negev Mjolnir now look way more 3D and filled in than previously. 
Tons of low to high tier skins got massive upgrades, and it's great to see these changes implemented on a massive variety of skins within CS2. On the glove side of things, we have some winners and losers. Most gloves got a great upgrade, now with much more of a fabric and glossy look that real life gloves have. However, in the sports glove section, we have big changes. Mesh gloves such as slingshots now look super clean, and the actual white on red with these gloves looks very sharp. These gloves have had a massive price increase over the last 3 days due to this. Omega gloves also got this shiny rubber look to them and really pop when using in game. Now, the biggest loser of the glove section was Hedgemaze gloves. I am really hoping they fix these because they are a shell of what they used to be before. They have no blue shine like they had in CSGO and the Hedgemaze pattern looks completely flat and basic. And on top of that, these seem to have a way worse wear look because now they get gray wear on the knuckles at low floats and the palms have these dark washed out spots we only saw with very high floats in CSGO. I'm sure this will get fixed though. Last thing I wanted to go over today was stickers and the insane upgrade most of them received. Hollows, golds, glitters, and lenticulars all received a tremendous buff and look super colorful and textured. Some hollows got completely reworked such as the Dignitas Hollow, which has had a massive price jump these last two days due to the huge upgrade. It now changes colors on the whole ghost, not just the eyes. Glitters pop way more now and the glitter effect is much sharper. Gold stickers now have an actual gold look due to the 3D effect they now have at basically all angles. This 3D effect has had a massive change to stickers and a lot of them went from looking like flat shiny pieces of paper to these intricate detailed 3D parts. Take a look at the showdown sticker and how absolutely beautiful it looks now with CS2's lighting. I would also like to highlight the rainbow effect on the DreamHack stickers and how the rework made them pop even more than they did before. Overall, these changes to CS2 have been absolutely wonderful and I will be looking forward to seeing what they improve in the next update. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, let me know how you guys feel about the current CS2 beta, and see you guys in the next one. Peace out.